So let's jump into the video. You'll need a screw gun, some stain, and maybe poly. I'm not actually using poly, but you can use stain. You're gonna need screws. The ones I've chosen are two and a half inches. I'm gonna use this. Seriously? <sighs> Pause. I'm gonna be using my speed square to make sure that the main legs are sticking up at a 90 degree angle. We've got my mask for what I put on the stain. I've got a tape measure. And my next door neighbor is running his bobcat. I've got gloves for the stain. I've got a, a larger level. I also have what I'm gonna be wiping the stain off with and what I'm gonna be wiping it on with. All this is is a piece of a t-shirt that I cut off. I'm gonna dip it in there, rub it on, let it kind of soak for a second, and then I'm gonna wipe off any excess. And that's about it. So to give you an example of what the final product will look like, here's an image that the client sent me. It's kind of funny because this client happens to be my sister. She's gonna be getting married soon and she asked me to build this. And I said, sure, that's a great way to come up with some content. So here I am. I don't have plans for this, but going off the image, my guess is that these are full length eight foot boards. These are two by fours, eight foot. And I asked my sister if she wanted the full length and she said I'd actually prefer for it to be seven feet high. So what I'm gonna be doing is the two legs in the top cross piece, I'm gonna cut down to seven feet. Um, the rest is just cutting the 45 degree angles to meet up in the center for you know structural support. And then the bottom feet, which for those, instead of starting at seven feet and cutting them in half, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the eight foot piece in half. Then I'll have a little bit extra length on the feet for support for the whole entire structure. So I got my stopwatch pulled up. What we're gonna do first is get everything off these pieces of wood. We're gonna mark seven feet on three of them, and then we're gonna cut them down. Oh, Lord. So we got everything cleared off. Now I'm ready to actually start working. So what I'm gonna do, start the clock, measure the seven feet, and then go ahead and cut it. Measure it at seven. Cut across. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna use the speed square. Make sure I'm straight. I can actually just go right across using this guy. Perfect. 42 seconds. This is what happens when you have a 100 foot cable and you only need like 15 feet. All right, so the next piece of this is to cut one eight foot piece in half and those are gonna be the feet of the entire arch. Let's get to that. I tried to run the clock as much as I could, but there was a few times I forgot. It was always my goal to have it finished in an hour, and that's the whole point of this challenge. But I think in the end, this particular project took me closer to an hour and a half, which in the grand scheme of things is not too bad. Definitely be careful with kickback. I actually flipped the board over and finished it on the other side. All right, so definitely be careful when you're cutting wood like this. It doesn't always jump back at you, but um, it can happen at times. If you look at the top corners of the arch, you can see that there are two pieces that are holding it together. I'm gonna measure out from the corner of this to wherever it ends on the 45 and I'm going to cut that right there and these will go in the corners of the arch for support. So I just found the corners and lined up the 45. If you mess up, don't worry, just get another piece of wood and do it again. We're going to get these cut. So 
So now what I need to figure out is the outside supporting legs that go onto the main two legs or columns that go up that hold the piece that goes across the top. So I'm gonna cut each board down to two foot lengths and essentially do the same thing I just did. Same thing I just did with these two, but just at the longer lengths. And I think once I do that, these will be all ready for stain. Follow my social media too at use what you got MD on Instagram. I'll upload some photos of like the final look with the drapery and whatever else she's gonna do it. So let's get to those four boards. So here I'm measuring two foot lengths. Once I finish putting my lines down, I grab my speed square and mark the entire board from top to bottom. And then like the shorter pieces, I went back and from the outside corner in, I marked my 45s. But here I was kind of second guessing myself until I realized, yeah, I need 45s because that's what I need. Once I was confident in myself, I finished the marking. All right, cutting time. You wanna make sure when you're cutting these, you're cutting on the outside of your marks. Cut on the inside, if you cut on the inside, it'll work, but the board will be shorter than what you actually need it to be. Okay, so we're finally done with the cutting. I have the two top corner pieces, I have the feet, I have the four pieces that are going to support the legs, and the other three seven foot pieces are actually right here on the ground, right out of the camera. We're gonna stain them up and probably call it a day, and then another day we'll come back and I'll build it, and then we'll be all done. That simple. Just use what you got. Oh, quick note. If you have access to a miter saw, that'll be way easier cutting with that than cutting with a skill saw, like I've been cutting with. On average, I would say the skill saw is gonna cost you about one third the price of a miter saw, or even more, or I should say less than that, like a quarter of the cost, one third to one quarter of the cost. I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way, get the floor clean and prepped for stain. So my sister requested the Verathane Red Oak Stain. I'll leave a link in the description. I have gloves, because you really don't want to get poly or stain on your hands. So I've got gloves, and then I'm gonna wear my mask just for a little extra protection. So I'm mainly gonna do time lapse of this. It's pretty straightforward, but enjoy while I apply it. All right, here we go. So I don't know if there's a certain technique you're supposed to do this with, but all I did was dip the t-shirt in the stain. I let it soak in real good, kind of wiped it along. And as soon as I was done, I wiped off any of the excess.
definitely take your time. I was so mad at myself here. But then I started thinking, I have to pour it on there anyway, so there's no reason to get frustrated and just wave it off, get done. So keep moving on. Here I'm wrapping up the last few pieces and then moving on to the next part. It's been a little bit, but I'm ready to wrap this thing up. I've got all the pieces right here. I've got uh, my drill, the screws. The girls are running around playing right now, so here we go. Let's go. Let's go, girls, let's go. So I attempted to just kind of lay out the pieces in round about the area they would end up being once I screw them together. Here I'm struggling to put my first board together. So I used the speed square to make sure that the legs were straight with the feet. So I didn't think I was gonna need it, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and pre-drill the holes. Um, it'll probably be better in the long run, but it's proving that this wood is pretty solid. So it is what it is. The good thing about my first mistake is I now know where my holes are, so I can drill those out. I thought about actually showing you guys me putting together the second leg first because it went much smoother, but I don't want to hide anything, so this is kind of the way it went together. and. It was okay at first, but like I said, I really needed to pre-drill first because this wood was a lot denser than I thought it was going to be. I honestly figured I could just shoot the screws right in, no problem, but it definitely proved otherwise. The technique I felt to do here was just put the screw in a little bit kind of press it up against the board, figure out where the hole would end up being, pre-drill, and then just shoot the screws in there. Nothing fancy, but it got the job done. I didn't catch it on camera, but at some point I bent this drill bit I have on my drill. And this was really frustrating, but you can notice as I'm drilling, the whole drill itself is shaking left and right. It was really frustrating, but I got it done. Not perfect, but I'll take it. Number one done, one more to go. And here's a time-lapse of me putting together the second leg with the supports, which went much smoother than the first one. So enjoy.
actually went and grabbed my sawhorse legs because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do this on the ground. And I was trying to do this all by myself, which it would have been very helpful to have a second set of hands, which you'll see in a minute I actually did. Out, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna do four. You're you're in the way of the camera, baby girl. Oh, oh, oh. it's all right. Just don't get in front of it. There we go. All right, almost there. Melody, can you give me those pieces of wood over there, please? Sure. Thank you so much. All four. One, two, three, four. All right, so quick update. The way I cut this piece, I think it's too short because technically I think it's supposed to go to the top and you would like barely even see it underneath the top crossbar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down flush with the bottom of this crossbar. And then I have an extra piece of wood that I need to stain. I'm, I'll stain it. And I'm just gonna drill it right into this guy. It'll look essentially the same this is uh, probably a little bit less than one foot. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> this is probably a little bit less than one foot, but it probably should have been two feet. So, but it's all right. It'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> You're so. I know. All right. Now time for the cross piece right there. See? Go Why are you right doing there. it right there? Because that's what it's like in the picture. Did no. you see the picture? No. Can you show me you can the see picture? picture? Can you give me that drill? See that one? Mm -hmm. Careful. This is just a regular one. Right. I put a drill bit on there so I can make some holes. Ready? You're on this you're on thing. Watch, ready? Make some holes right here. Can you move over a little bit? Mm -hmm. Just so you're not in front of the camera. Now we drilled the holes. Now we put in the screws. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. You keep getting in front of the camera. Oh. Thank you so much for checking out this video of me building a wedding arch. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the like button and uh, subscribe button. That helps me a lot. And um, again, if you want to check out more, head over to my Instagram page at usewhatyougotmd. That's my username. And um, I plan on posting some more photos of this once the wedding hits. I hope to catch you guys in the next video.